All right, so if you look at um, sum and difference identities, sometimes people call them addition identities, either one. Uh, there's going to be four different ones that look quite similar with slight differences in them. The difference here is all the identities up till now, first of all, they were all written out using a theta, right? It said sine, theta, something, 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 right? There's all the different ones. I don't know if you... I don't know if you could try and remember all the basic identities. That would be a good idea is to try and memorize them. But uh, even though I'm going to give you, uh, even though I'm going to give you a formula sheet, if you tried to memorize them, that would be good a good start here. Can anybody give me any one of the eight basic identities we've had so far? Tan is sine over cos. That's a good one to know. Tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. That's one of them. That and all of the other ones, you can write them out with whatever letter you want, uh, but um, theta is, seems to be what they use a lot. It's a Greek letter. There's a whole bunch of different Greek letters. Um, you could use whatever you want here. You probably haven't used beta before, but it would be true whatever, whatever variable you put in here, right? I don't know why they use Greek letters for angles. Somebody along the way decided that that was a good thing to do. It could be X. It could be anything. The difference with this is what? No. Oh, I had example. oh of, of a Greek letter? Sure. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, of, a, of an identity. What, like what? Um, cotangent. Cotangent of, did you have any choice of Greek letter R. here? Or not Greek letter? <laughs> um, <laughs> is what? Oh, you want to use a symbol? The variable formerly known as R? Um, anyways, we're slowly sliding off of where I was going with this. Uh, mostly due to me here. All of these have a single variable. It says tangent of that variable or sine of that variable or cotangent of that variable. What's the difference with not even having seen the other side of these identities? What's one difference there? It has, it has two angles you're adding together, and then you're taking the sine ratio. These are called addition identities or sum and difference identities because it's the sine of two angles added together or the cosine of two angles added together or the sine of the difference of two angles. Um, I said... Uh, copy them down from your Math 12 formula sheet. The other identities we've seen, we've looked at why they are what they are, and we've sort of tried to prove them wherever possible. We're not going to try and prove these because I don't think we're going to gain anything out of the proof. It's just going to take a long time and uh, not lead to anything. So we're going to copy them down, but we are going to verify them. This is This is for you to go through and do here. Now, you might be saying right now, where can I get this principles of Math 12 formula sheet you keep speaking of? I am going to give you one right now, actually. And then you can complete this activity. I'm going to give you one. Did I give you one already? No. I did give some of you one. It's yellow, so that you can find it in your book easily. I only have one per person. Please don't take one if you already have one. <laughs> she was. I already gave two copies. The, see, there's a theme here of who doesn't have one, right? The two people who are at Susical and I guess I could pause this while this. The idea, this is set up so that, you know, I'm not going to lecture you on this whole thing here. You can, these questions here are just asking you to look at them and kind of familiarize yourself with them. If you did have to set out to memorize them, you would look for patterns in between them. Uh, just to write out one of them here, sine alpha times cosine of beta. Just confirm that I have this right here. Plus, well, you can write it two ways here. Sine beta cos alpha. Is that correct? It might be written on there cos alpha sine beta. I don't know which way is it written on that formula sheet. I mean, when you're multiplying, it doesn't matter. So this, on the formula sheet, it's written with this first. Is that what you're saying? So this comes second, right? But anyways, it's it's uh, what this is saying here is that if you take any angle you want, any two angles, right? This could be like 
uh, whatever here. You could be in degrees or radians. This could be 32 degrees and uh, 47 degrees. If you add them together and then find their sine ratio. So in other words, if you, if you take that and do sine of 79 degrees, that should be the same as if you do sine of 32 degrees times cosine of 47 degrees plus cosine of 32 degrees sine of 47 degrees. Okay, that's what this identity is saying. It's not very useful for what we're going to do other than, I mean, it allows you to find the, te the trig ratios for certain angles using other angles. Without a calculator, these are very useful. Um, the questions that I have asked you here are just to get you to familiarize yourself. Um, this idea that I just hinted at there of choose a pair of angles and verify one of them. I don't want you to spend hours and hours verifying all of them. But you could verify these in two ways, right? One is you could do this. You could actually uh, think about whether you can do this. That's our other way we've usually verified things, and you can decide whether that's a possibility or not. But then we're going to start using them. There's some questions in here for you to try and um, use the identities. Here's an identity that involves now sine of a pair of angles. Subtracted. So that's where you can start using these identities. This happens to be an angle that's a variable you don't know, but is this a variable here? 3 pi. 3 pi is an actual number you know. You could actually evaluate. Once you split this apart, do you know what the sign of this whole thing is if this is a variable here? You don't, right? If this is unknown, you don't know. But if you split it apart, it would give you sine of this times cosine of that, and then you could start to fill in some of the values. My hint to you when you start this is this is a known value. You know the sine and the cosine for that. Um, you can verify it by substitution. You can verify it by graphing, but then you're going to prove it down here, showing your steps nicely. That's for you to work through after and think about it. This is, this is something else here that you can do. Um, I'm asking you to find the value of sine of m plus n. No uh, Greek letters there, capital letters. Uh, this is without a calculator. The idea here is that you know a couple of the trig ratios because I'm telling you what they are, the sine and the cosine. You need to know some other ones, but you can use some triangles. Okay, So read this when you're working on this. There's even a triangle down there you can use. Okay, guided examples because they give you uh, some guidance here. And then just check your understanding. This is a pretty short tutorial for you to work on. There's those four new identities and then uh, and then a few things to do with them. But it's not, as, it's not as huge of a topic as the other ones we've been working on. It used to be that they actually also had ones for tan of alpha plus beta. But in Math 12, we don't seem to use that. Tan of alpha minus beta. You could be lucky. Those ones didn't look the same. They were uglier looking. And... Uh, you can be happy that you don't have to know those, all right? The, the plan for today would be to spend some time working on that, okay? I've given you a little introduction to this. Sp spend some time working on this, even if you feel like you're farther behind, like if you're still working on previous ones. Uh, we, we really should uh, do this because we, I've been, I don't know, we've sort of been putting it off here for, uh, for a while. And uh, hopefully if we work for, I don't know, half an hour on this or 25 minutes, then we could do the, these, uh, this other quiz last. Any questions on what you need to do? You need to work? Yes. Talk? Yes. No. Talk about the work. So, talk about the work is fine. <laughs> the problem is some of you talk, you, you get off task within a minute, and then that's it for the rest of the time.